This is Shannon Cregan and you're watching Goddess Kring and I'm standing here in Florida at a naturist gathering and there's people drumming and dancing naked around a fire pit near me and I'm crying and I'm missing my cat who died and I'm sad about my grandma dying and feel really strange and really pissed off at the Israeli army and I feel sorry for Palestinians and pissed off at um, the U.S. government and um, just feeling kind of weird right now and sad and just, just whatever. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shannon Kringen and you're watching Goddess Kring. And I'm in Florida right now crying at this naturist gathering. Um, and it should, you know, I should be, I should be happy. But um, I'm having like some tears from grieving the death of my grandmother and the death of my cat and the death of my dad's cat and the death of my friends, my other friend's cat. And then I'm thinking about some of the stuff that happened to me as a child. And I don't want to focus on the past, but I don't want to deny that certain things were damaging to me. The certain ways in which I was raised and the fact that I've suffered through some emotionally very abusive relationships with men <laughs> based mostly on sexual chemistry uh, more than anything else and I tend to live in a fantasy world which for my artwork is very good but for my personal relationships doesn't work and being at this naturist gathering has helped me realize um, how, how bad I am at communicating with people and how I make a lot of assumptions and how I project a lot of my own stuff onto other people and also how I don't know how to stand up for myself I don't know how to have healthy boundaries I either have really 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 extreme harsh boundaries and I'm cut off from others or or I have no boundary at all and I'm just like this little child that people can crush and overly sensitive and like a sponge that soaks everything up and so it's good that I'm aware of this and it's good that I'm documenting this on video and it's too bad I don't know how to connect with real human beings as well as I can connect with animals and as well as I can connect with my camera but at least I have this and at least this can document this aspect of my soul and hopefully it'll help you whoever it is listening to me watching me right now my name is Shannon Kringen and you're watching Goddess Kring and I am going to learn from all of this <laughs> and there must be a purpose authentic ejaculation of my soul molten orange liquid glow Fusion drives illusion to erosion. This is Shannon Kringen, and you're watching Goddess Kring. It's echoing in the shower. I'm going to take a shower off my tower. You don't know how it feels. No, you don't know how it feels to be me. Think of me what you will. I got a little space to fill. My old man was born to rock. He's still trying to beat the clock. Okay, so that's a little bit of a Tom Petty song, but I don't want to copy him, but I love Tom Petty. Tom Petty is one of my shamans, and I know that sounds completely silly, but that's how I think of his music. You know, I was like a refugee. My mom made me move from California to Washington, to Washington State, and I felt like a refugee. I didn't even know what the word refugee meant, but when I first heard Tom Petty's Refugee when I was 11 on a jukebox in a pizza parlor, I, I resonated with me. You don't have to live like a refugee. Everybody's had to fight to be free. You know, you, you must have been kidnapped, tied up, uh, taken away and held for ransom. Somebody must have pushed you around. So I've had, some parts of my life have been very difficult emotionally and physically. And I've had a lot of really abusive and neglectful relationships. And that's because my childhood was a bit like that. But in some ways my childhood was great. In some ways it was full of neglect. And uh, I've had really bad relationships with the men, but really good sex. And, um, you know, I gotta learn as I go. This is Goddess Kring. My name is Shannon Kringen. And this is what it looks like when my face paint is halfway washed off. I kind of get a kick out of how it looks. 
when it's kind of blurry and half washed off like this with the texture going on. Kind of scary looking, but interesting at the same time. Ooh.